why did the resurrected Jesus Christ eat fish and honey? Believers of the Christian religion have no questions about what is mentioned in the Bible and of course in the New Testament and the Gospels. However, many, like other unbelieving Thomasites, from various questions marks while there are not many who question much of what is said in these texts. And as such, there is a need for some explanations that various interpreters undertake to give. Whether they are fathers of the church, priests, with or without office, or even ordinary people dedicated to God. So a question arises among other things, why did the risen Jesus Christ eat roasted fish and honey? What did he need since he was supposed to have, uh, he, didn't, he didn't have an earthly body, it was a resurrected body. He didn't have flesh or bones or a digestive system since he was a spirit without material form. So there must be a convincing answer. In the Gospel of the Ascension Feast, we hear that Christ demanded and ate a fish of a fine part and of a beeswax. That is a piece of roasted fish and of honey from honeybees, according to Luke 24:42. Now, why is this detail mentioned? According to the ecclesiastical tradition, this detail was of great allegorical importance. As for the fish, we know that although it lives in the salty sea, this body is not salty but sweet. Similarly, Christ, who lived in the salty sea of sin of this world, sinned no sin, found no deceit in his mouth, no deceit was found in his mouth, that is, he committed no sin, nor did he defile anything. Isaiah 53, 9. Christ also remains, remained more speechless than the fish when he suffered his salvation passage, passion on the cross and accepted those unheard of tortures and incomprehensible humiliations. As for honey and the candle, we know that honey is sweet and candle is luminous, which is why they are regarded as symbols of spiritual pleasure and enlightenment that Christians transmit to believers after Christ's resurrection. They also symbolize first the healing of the great bitterness of sin, symbolized by the bile given to his passion, and the second, the dissolution of the thick darkens, darkness of sin, which symbolizes the darkness that occurred upon his crucifixion. And this is from uh, the translation of a Greek article of the Adrastica. And also let's remember that Fish in Greek is ichthys. Ichthys is the acronym for Isus Christos Theuiosotir, uh, which are, is the Greek words, the beginning letters forming the word of ichthys, fish in Greek, which is, of course, the symbol for our Lord Jesus Christ. Ichthys meaning Isus Christos, Jesus Christ, Theuio, Son of God, Savior. Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. That's what Ichthys, the fish, stands for. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help 
the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.